Good morning, children. Sai Ram. Welcome back in today's EVS two class. Do you all remember what we have learned before this? Yes, what we have learned in the previous class that is part one of lesson number nine. Where does water come from? Yes, can anyone tell me? Very good. Yes, what do we use to drink water? what is used to store drinking water what is a dam where does all this water come from and how is a river formed yes so all these points we have already discussed in the previous class so now today we will continue with the same lesson that is lesson number 9 where does water come from part 2 we'll proceed further we'll begin with new words seep means to pass slowly through small openings mm -hmm. or cracks seep means to pass slowly through small openings or cracks i repeat seep means to pass slowly through small openings or cracks now children repeat after me s e e p seep s e e p seep s e e p seep drill drill means a tool or machine with a rotating cutting tip used for making holes drill means a tool or machine with a rotating cutting tip used for making holes that means we can use this machine to make holes in the soil or in the ground is that clear now repeat after me d r i l l drill d r i l l drill d r i l l drill very good reservoir reservoir means a large container or a lake that is natural or man made where water is collected and stored especially for the use of a city i repeat reservoir means a large container or a lake that is natural or man made reservoir can be man made also or natural also where water is collected and stored especially for the use of a city now repeat after me r e s e r v o i r reservoir r e s e r v o i r reservoir r e s e r v o i r reservoir good creek creek means a narrow inlet of water creek means a narrow inlet of water repeat c r e e k creek c r e e k creek c r e e k creek numerous numerous means many numerous means many n u m e r o u s numerous n u m e r o u s numerous n u m e r o u s numerous very good we have done with the new words now we'll proceed further some rain water seeps into the ground now what do you mean by seep seep means to pass slowly through small openings or 
cracks that means rain water seeps into the ground it goes slowly inside the ground or into the ground some rain water seeps into the ground to obtain this water we dig wells why do we dig wells to obtain underground water which seeped inside the ground or which seeped into the ground through small openings or cracks is that clear children once again i will repeat why do we dig wells we dig wells to obtain underground water which seeped into the ground through small openings in the soil or uh, rocks is that clear this water can also be taken out by using hand pumps and bore wells the same underground water can also be taken out by using hand pumps and bore wells now we'll see what is a bore well a bore well is a deep narrow hole drilled into the ground from which water is drawn through a pipe and pump a bore well is a deep narrow hole drilled into the ground a narrow hole which is drilled into the ground from which we can obtain underground water okay from which water is drawn through a pipe and pump i hope this is clear once again i will repeat a bore well is a deep narrow hole drilled into the ground from which water is drawn through a pipe and pump now we'll see the picture see this is nothing but a bore well or we can say hand pump also yes now see in this this picture what you can see a boy is pumping underground water on one side and the other side the same water comes through the pipe okay i repeat one boy is pumping underground water that means he is trying to draw water okay he is trying to draw underground water and that water comes through the pipe on the other side is that clear children so this is nothing but a bore well or hand pump so this is how we can draw or we can obtain underground water through pipe by using hand pumps or bore wells clear see once again i will repeat a bore well is a deep narrow hole drilled into the ground from which water is drawn through a pipe and pump see now we'll discuss about springs what is a spring sometimes water in the ground comes out in the form of springs i repeat sometimes water in the ground comes out in the form of springs that means rain water which seeped into the ground that comes out in some places that means that comes out of the ground in some places in the form of springs i repeat rain water which seeped into the ground that comes out of the ground in some places in the form of springs now we'll see the image of a spring see children this is the image of a spring rain water seeps into the ground it seeps deep into the ground through small openings or cracks in the soil and rocks even under the ground it flows from a higher level to lower level this ground water comes out of the ground in some places that is nothing but a spring okay understood we'll see rain water seeps into the ground it seeps 
deep into the ground through cracks in the soil and rocks. Even under the ground, it flows from a higher level to lower level. This ground water comes out of the ground in some places. This is what we call a spring. Yes? Once again I will repeat. Rain water seeps into the ground. It seeps deep into the ground. Through cracks in the soil and rocks. Even under the ground it flows from a higher level to lower level. This ground water comes out of the ground in some places. This is nothing but a spring. I hope this is clear. Very good. Some sources of water are formed naturally. Some sources of water are formed naturally. Children, can you tell me which are the natural sources of water? Yes? Very good. Rivers, lakes, streams, then springs. Just now we have learnt about springs. Yes? So, rivers, lakes, springs and streams are natural sources of water. Very good. However, places like wells and dams are man-made. Yes? Places like wells and dams are man-made because wells and dams are built by man. Yes? So, places like wells and dams are man-made. See, this is a river. That means natural source of water. This is a lake. This can be natural also or man-made also. This is a well. This is man-made. This is a dam. This is also a man-made source of water. That means all these are stores of water. River, lake, well, dam. These are stores of water. Okay. If rainfall decreases, the water stored in these places also decreases. I repeat, if rainfall decreases, the water stored in these places also decreases. Now we will discuss about water bodies. Flowing water and stores of water are examples of water bodies. I repeat, flowing water and stores of water are examples of water bodies. Flowing water means water which flows. For example, water from rivers, streams, springs. Okay. So, water from rivers, springs and streams is flowing water. And water from lakes and reservoirs is stagnant water. Stagnant water means still water which does not flow. I repeat, water from lakes and reservoirs is stagnant water means water that does not flow. So, flowing water and stores of water are examples of water bodies. Springs, streams, rivers, lakes, reservoirs, creeks, seas and oceans are all water bodies. These are all examples of water bodies. Yes, I repeat once again. Flowing water and stores of water are examples of water bodies. Springs, streams, rivers, lakes, reservoirs, creeks, seas and oceans are all water bodies. We will see the pictures now. See. This is the image of a spring. This is natural source of water. This is a reservoir. Reservoir can be man-made or natural also. This is a stores of water. This is a reservoir and it is a source of water. This is a 
creek creek is nothing but a narrow inlet of water creek is nothing but a narrow inlet of water creek has flowing water this is another picture of creek and this is flowing water body we can say yes creek is a flowing water body so these are all the examples of water bodies okay what are the examples of water bodies springs streams rivers lakes reservoirs creeks seas and oceans are all water bodies i hope this is clear children yes now we have come to an end we'll have a recap now all these points we have discussed today why do we dig wells yes we dig wells to obtain underground water which seep into the ground what is a spring rain water seeps into the ground it seeps deep into the ground through cracks in the soil and rocks even under the ground it flows from a higher level to lower level this ground water comes out of the ground in some places this is what we call a spring then we have learnt about natural sources of water rivers lakes springs streams are natural sources of water now which are man made sources of water yes wells dams and bore wells are man made sources of water i repeat wells dams and bore wells or hand pumps are the examples of man made sources of water then we have learnt about water bodies flowing water and stores of water are examples of water bodies rivers lakes reservoirs seas oceans creeks streams springs are all water bodies i hope this is clear to everyone yes children keep revising yes we'll meet in the next class till then bye sai ram